is Justin Reed with Good Things About Japan. Recently, we made a VR video of a Zen meditation session at the Buddhist temple Yosogoen in Kyoto. Through the course of making that video, I had the honor and pleasure of interviewing Zen master Torio Ito about Zen Buddhism. Please join us as we share the thoughts and insights conveyed in that interview with Master Ito at Yosokuin. Uh, thank you for joining us, Ito-san. Thank you for coming here. I wonder, uh, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, my name is Torio Ito. I'm assistant chief monk of Ryosaki. Mm -hmm. I was born and raised up here at Ryosaki. Mm -hmm. Presently, I lead for about 10,000 people a year. Wow. Okay, and so you were raised in the temple? In the temple. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Interesting. So, how does one maintain the sense of wonder, as you say, uh, the state of mind that's necessary to practice Zen Buddhism in everyday life? Mm -hmm. The key is being grounded in the present. Mm -hmm. We can get our, our awareness onto our breathing, onto our bodies. Whether cleaning, or running errands, or enjoying tea or coffee, mm -hmm. We can lose ourselves in the task at hand. Mm -hmm. This opens up our senses, giving us a bird's eye view of the mind. Well, it's interesting because I, I have noticed often in Japan that people tend to lose themselves in what they're doing. Yeah. But I never considered that we also get the bird's eye view by doing that. Mm -hmm. it's interesting. Focus interesting. on one point, one moment. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the major difference between Zen Buddhism and other teachings and practices throughout Japan and the world? So Buddhism centers personal agency mm -hmm. of self-development. However, uh, our individual progress is not simply linear. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we respect fortune involved mm -hmm. when sparks of intuition naturally arise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it is important to be prepared to receive these sparks mm -hmm. and also do so actively mm -hmm. by training awareness. Yeah, so that basically you're just training the mind to receive an inspiration. Yes, and recognize exactly. It and act on that inspiration. So how do you define what has been called Buddha nature? Buddha nature. Mm -hmm. Buddha nature describes the fact that within all of us are very disease of wisdom and compassion. Furthermore, we all nurture these seeds by appreciating the beauty of our daily surroundings mm -hmm. and deepening or our trust of human possibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is the function of what you said was imperfect nature in Zen Buddhism? As I mentioned, mm -hmm. Buddhism emphasizes human possibility. At the same time, we can also describe that imperfect nature. Mm -hmm. Humans are imperfect, so we can improve ourselves. So there's always room for improvement in exactly. perfect nature. Yeah. But I guess human imperfect nature gives us a sort of kind of potential. Yeah. That's right, that's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So the idea of imperfect nature encourages us to re refine ourselves mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all the time. So, what do you think the world can learn from Buddhism? In other words, what do you think Zen Buddhism has mm -hmm. to offer the world? Mm -hmm. I hope we can find the significant wealth within small treasures 
everyday life is filled with such bounty. So our task is how to learn unlock it and unlock its wonder. So what is the final goal of Zen Buddhism? We talk about goals in various ways. For instance, every day has its own goals, aims, or tasks. But we take all, all of these to be oriented by an overarching vision. While it's important to be grounded in the present and our present goals, we cannot forget guiding vision of self-development mm. and this also means we have no final goals mm. this encourages us continual self-development mm. 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 so then there's no ultimate enlightenment that we achieve but just always striving to, to be better than we were yeah. even mm. once you might feel get enlightenment, mm -hmm. we there is still pass to go. Oh yes. Keep going. Yes, I achieved enlightenment many times. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. That's great. <laughs> still working on it. <laughs> Thank you once again for helping us and guiding us through Zen Buddhism and meditation. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it too. And